Good evening and thanks for joining us for the News at 6. I'm Dawn Baker. A new at 6, a WTOC update on the proposal to raise the Talmadge Bridge. State transportation leaders want to hear from you about the changes that could be coming to one of Georgia's biggest landmarks. The more than $100 million project could replace existing cables and include maintenance on different parts of the bridge. This would be a major change for computers in Savannah and South Carolina, as well as the Georgia Ports Authority. WTOC's Flynn Snyder talked to Georgia DOT today. He joins us now live from River Street with what you need to know to get involved in this process. Yeah, Don, good evening. Starting this week, the public can give their thoughts on the Talmadge Bridge raising and maintenance project. It all comes ahead of that expected work that's expected to impact both drivers and ships coming into Savannah's port. Starting this week, GDOT wants to hear from you about their plans to raise the Talmadge Bridge. We're curious on the feedback that you have, you know, as citizens that traverse this area every day. The comments will be used to develop project plans. Those plans call for crews to explore shortening the Talmadge's cables in order to raise the bridge above the Savannah River. We're going to replace the cables, the bridge bearings, the joints, and some other key components of the bridge to, um, you know, make sure it has a longer life. Right now, GDOT says they haven't decided on how high the increase will be. The department says the bridge's current 185 feet of clearance limits access for ships into the port of Savannah. The Georgia Ports Authority tells WTOC in a statement that more space is needed for larger ships that will use Savannah's port in the future. The GPA says as the global shipping industry continues to grow, the size of new container ships calling on the port of Savannah will only increase in the years to come. It is important that we work together to prepare for this growth as a key global gateway for cargo and an economic driver for the betterment of all Georgians. A construction date hasn't been set as the department works to find a contractor for the project. But once the work does start in the coming years, GDOT says to expect delays and closures for the 20,000 drivers on average that cross the bridge daily. We definitely anticipate some lane closures, no long-term long type detour is expected. We want to maintain traffic while the work's going on. That will definitely be quite a feat. If you want to give your input, you can submit it on GDOT's website. After that public comment period closes, GDOT says they're going to respond to those comments within 30 to 45 days. That comment period ends on July 27th. We're live in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.